He scored the first basket for the NBA. That's his fame. Name the fame. Ozzie Sheckman. Everybody knows him. The very first game for the whole league was scheduled for November the 2nd, a Saturday night. And our first game was against Toronto. They had a hockey game scheduled that particular night. So they moved the game up to November 1st. So we opened before the rest of the league did. November 1st, 1946. These are the New York Knickerbockers. This is where it all began. Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, Canada. The New York Knickerbockers and the Toronto Huskies meet in the inaugural game as a new league is the born. The first game, we walked in like at the start of the game. We weren't sure what was going to go on. Toronto was not a basketball city. And uh, the ball came up, sent a jump, and of course, everybody yelled, face off, face off. The fans did not know the game. The New Yorkers show some nice ball handling, and after a few preliminaries, work the ball into Husky territory and keep it there. With and Ozzie Sheckman, who was a great ball player for Long Island University, scored the first basket. And when the first basket was scored, we didn't think anything of it. But uh, since then, it's become a very important part of history that Ozzie scored the first basket ever scored in the BAA, which is now the NBA. You know, we won the game. I had a fairly good night. By 1982, the NBA came to me and said, look, you scored the opening basket. So I said, great. I, I never thought about it until that time. So from that time on, I, I got some publicity about it. And it's kept my name alive. Ossie Sheckman received the pass from Leo Gottlieb. And Leo Gottlieb said if he had known that this was that important, he wouldn't have made the pass, but he would have made the shot for himself. Mm -hmm.